everyone i am msk aka master swag king coming at you guys today with another video and if you guys are returning viewers or new viewers then please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below also make sure to hit that notification bell that way you guys can get notified on whenever i upload a brand new video or go live and joining me here in this video today to talk about Chris Tyson, a.k.a. Ava, who is Mr. Beast's best friend, is Mr. Blanks. I will leave his YouTube channel linked in the description box below. So go over there and subscribe to his channel. He would love and appreciate your support. But without further ado, let's begin. So I want to just clarify a few things before I start going over all of the tweets in this video. Because I have compiled pretty much every single important piece of context and every tweet that you guys can imagine for every single portion of this story that I want to tell you guys, okay? So, but first things first, um, I know you guys saw me do all those videos on Dr. Disrespect. Now, obviously, at that current moment in time, I had a little bit more free time during that week. So I was able to actually do more, you know, single pre-recorded videos on the Iron Man podcast. But around the time that this situation happened, I didn't have that extra free time to just do like topics on the Iron Man podcast to clip out for videos. And then, you know, what I learned about the Dr. Disrespect situation was that basically, you know, when you have a situation like that, the other news that you're waiting on to hear is usually right around the corner. And that actually happened with the Chris Tyson Ava situation as it unfolded. So it wasn't the fact that I wasn't trying to go hard on this guy like I did with Dr. Disrespect. It was just like around the time period when this all unfolded, which was pretty much last week, I was beyond busy, guys. I was like, we're talking like in a way where I get off stream, I edit this video, I put this video up for you guys, and then I go to sleep for work. That's how busy and tired I was, actually. So then uh, number two. Number two is something that people say, well, because this guy was a troon, you know, because we're on YouTube. So with this video, I got to like say certain things in a certain way because I don't want to get in trouble, obviously. So um, people laid out this argument where basically it goes like this. This guy is basically a troon. So that, so that means he's a PDF file. So what that basically means is like if you see a guy looking like a gangbanger, that automatically makes him a gangbanger. To be fair, I'll be completely honest with you, you're probably right in most cases, but, you know, there could be the off chance that that isn't a thing. You know, you generally don't typically want to generalize people like that, but I will agree, for the most part, when this kind of thing happens, it does lead down a road like that. And then the third thing to bring up as the most important thing in this video that I really want to highlight is what an absolute piece of shit of media we have, where the media basically, you know, did exactly what they should have did, demonized Dr. Disrespect for what he did. And what he did was completely wrong, obviously. But with this guy, it's basically like, well, you know, it, I, I know he did some really bad things, but like, could you please use the correct pronouns? And it's like, where, where are you guys' priorities? Like what? God forbid you miss, pro, miss say someone's stupid pronouns, actually. So, yeah, want to make sure I just point those things out. And I know you guys have been waiting on this video for quite some time. And like I promised, it's going to be an absolute banger. So I know you guys are parents out there. I know you guys have kids, actually. Um, I know you really can't kind of like stop your kids from like watching uh, Mr. Beast, uh, you know, because you kind of want to let them watch who they want to watch. Keep in mind, this is the person he had around him, this guy. And I personally think he knew. And I'll go into that detail much later on. But I, I would say if you can get your kids to stop watching this guy, please do. You know, just say like, hey, honey, um, you can't watch this guy anymore. And just be completely honest with, with, with them. It's that way, like if they get older, they'll completely understand where, where, where you're coming from. Don't hide anything. It's not needed. Just say, hey, this is the reason why I don't you watch this guy anymore. Now, if they do after what you said, they're kids. They're going to make mistakes and, and they'll learn. But, you know, 
I would just be open and honest with them, actually. You know, the reason why this is super important is because Mr. Beast has the most subscribed YouTube channel on the planet next to like PewDiePie. A lot of kids watch his content, and the fact that his best friend was sitting there in Discords, uh, and Discord groups actually doing the disgusting sh shit that he was doing is absolutely insane. Now, before I cover any of the story that I have laid out for you guys, I'll let Mr. Blanks say his first initial piece on this, and then we'll start covering the story actually. So, what's up, man? Yeah. How you doing, bro? I, I know you wanted to be with me on this video. It was the one that you want to talk yeah. about a lot, actually, because yeah. people know that you cover the Nickelodeon stuff, and you don't like when they what those people did, did to kids, actually, over yeah. there. So, what's going on, man? What you want to say about this before we get into the story? This is disgusting. Um, this is the kind of shit that, like, when you find out, you, you have to, in a sense, as a parent, you have to let your kids know that they're people like this in the world who do disgusting things. Why? Mm -hmm. You'll never know. It's, you, you probably know, but you don't know the truth. That you just have to know. Mm -hmm. You have to let that kid know you can't support them. It's like, you can't watch it anymore. Because of reasons of this. You, you gotta explain it down. Sometimes it's a little tough to explain to them. Sometimes mm -hmm. if, they, if they can't comprehend, you you, you let them know, you inform them in the best way, and you block, you, you go to the system, block that channel, block whoever, anything that tags that. It's like, honestly, and with Mr. Beast, he do. He, he had to know. Because anything, any situation like that, anytime a boss doesn't know a situation, you're in a lose lose situation. Right, right. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know, if you did know, and that person's what Chris is one of those. They were right under Mr. Beast. That's me. This is one of those like, if you did know, you right under as if like in this picture right here, they're at the Nickelodeon Kids Toy Sword. They're literally together. We we know they're best friends. That's not like debatable because in the Discord, the one that got leaked yesterday, he added yeah. Mr. Beast. Why would Mr. Beast be a part of that? Just saying. But yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, of course. Um, I don't know. It, they were definitely they were definitely cordial and friends in a sense. Like I don't know if they're best friends, but they were they were close enough that if something happened, Mr. Beast would try to put the you know mm -hmm. you know try to get rid of this. He had the money, he had the resources, and this getting out like this looks bad on Mr. Beast because it's like wait a second, are you condoning this? Is is I noticed your friend? It's the whole thing with Doctor Disrespect. All the people had, even though, like Tim Tatman and Ninja, and mm -hmm. all the people have their personal numbers, and just mm -hmm. to call them, you have to, in a sense, for media purposes, you have to denounce them in public. You gotta, even even if you know it's one of those things, it because it helps you in the long run. Like, but the beast try to do the situation, but the issue is. It's one of those things where it's and this goes back to the Jerry Sandusky in Penn State. You try to you try to oh uh, cover it up. You can't cover it up. It gets out. It's too much information out, and then you find out you were trying to cover it up. Now you you you're a prestigious person. Joe Paterno was a prestigious person. Mm -hmm. He loses his he loses his job. He loses his tenure. They strip him of records, and then he like dude he was. The, like it got this guy seventies, eighties, like and then right after that, right after he was let go, he passed away. But he was a lot older. I'm not saying Mr. Beast go passed away, but it's like right. Mm -hmm. If you lose your career, because you're he's more likely gonna end up losing his channel. If not, if, if he doesn't lose his channel. This would be a huge stain on his channel, like yeah. massive, especially, he he especially after this, this, this tweet right here. This tweet specifically, where he said, Chris isn't my nightmare. Oh, this talk about tweets that age like actual milk, yeah. like literally spoiled milk that people pour I, on the concrete. That one, I don't even know what the hell does that mean. Chris is not my nightmare. I don't. Yeah. So, um, anything else do you want to say before we start going over the, the actual story and context and everything? Oh. Uh, yeah, now nah, just seeing that tweet, I what the hell? 
once we get to that tweet, I, that I don't understand. I, it's one of those things. It's like sometimes you you want to get a get ahead of it, but in in, in the long run, it screws you. Uh, this was the situation where I, I I saw this and I was like, "Yeah, Mr. Beast is about to take a hit." Isn't it crazy, man? You just did a video with Selena talking about the whole Nick, Nick Nickelodeon child scandal, and then yeah. now we're on a video talking about another child child scandal going on with looking another <sighs> person who has. A lot of kids subscribers on his channel. It's actually yeah. insane. How do you always end up in these situations, man? <laughs> be, be, because I could have been, I could have been one of those kids that got abused. Like trying try to be a, a child actor, I just luckily never got in the situation. Like, like I, I, I told Selena in the video that I came across one of the um, people that were child predator, but I never got touched because I was, because he a lot of these. A lot of times, these people want a kid that they could control. That's, oh, yeah, that's yeah. Like, mold them into being the person you want. Because who you need to understand this, man. Kids are impressionable. It's just what they are. Yeah. They, they they are not as smart as people like to say, but they're not as dumb as people like to say. But that impression, yeah. but that impressionableness on them is how you can essentially mold them to being what you want. Some people, yeah. like he did in that Discord, was trying to mold them into being some sort of, like, clout-chasing pe- he wanted, like, I don't know, to just form a weird cult of people that worshipped him because he was friends with Mr. Beast. Yeah. He was using language like, oh, me and me and Jimmy had a fight. And they'd be like, oh, man, dude, that sucks. Hope you guys make up, you know? And, of course, they don't care because they're they're just there because he's friends with Mr. Beast, obviously, you know? Like, what a yeah. fucking piece of shit. All right, guys, let's start going down this story. Okay, so... For me personally, it all kind of started with this, and this happened around early 2023. So basically, Chris Tyson, who you guys now know as Ava, okay, so at one point, Chris had gotten married to his, I guess, longtime girlfriend. They ended up having a kid. Then, all of a sudden, literally out of nowhere, Chris is posting pictures like this one right here, and that's the only one he ever posted where he looked good in a dress. The other ones are just absolutely just horrendous, obviously. He came out as a she, her, and then later on, you know, uh, Ava name came along, and he just started posting pictures of him, you know, wearing a dress and, and being on shows. And then people kept using the line of, like, you abandoned your family. So what people mean by that is he didn't necessarily abandon his family where, like, he just left, left his wife. He abandoned his family people by not being a dad that's staying a dad okay people are people really got to stop doing that looking at a situation hearing what people are saying and then conflating it to one thing he left his family by taking away by having his son not have a normal stable relationship with his wife anymore because he wanted to go play dress up like i hope that's not a hard thing to understand yeah he didn't literally abandon them at that current moment in time but he abandoned his fatherly duties of being a man to go play dress up like some girl. He's not a girl also, you know? So that's that first situation. So then later on, you guys saw the uh, Dr. Disrespect situation happen. And then after that, in that moment in time, at the same moment, he had posted on Snapchat his son wearing high heels, okay? The son right there, the kid right there, wearing high heels with the caption of, uh, I, I don't know the kid's name, and I'm not gonna say it here, obviously, and I forgot it anyway. Basically saying, my son decided to slay today. Like, like what? Why are you putting your, like, two, three-year-old kid in high heels? You weirdo. So then after that, you have the Nick Mertz situation where Nick Mertz saw that Snapchat post that I just told you about. He says, you should be ashamed of yourself leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. One day you'll wake up and realize what you've done. Now, this is also in context with what Chris was talking about, the Dr. Disrespect situation. He had said things I honestly forgot, but looking back at it now in hindsight, whoo, damn. Talk about things that did not age very well, okay? So Nick Merckx basically called him out on that, basically just put him in his place, obviously. You know, Nick Merckx is, you know, pretty based for certain things he's done recently. Then... Nick Merckx made a follow-up video talking about the situation. And then here is uh, Mr. Beast basically defending whom he thought was a good friend at the time. And this was his tweet right here. He says, Ava, he's even using the fucking fake name. This is a dude. Ava is literally always with her kid. Shut the 
fuck up, you fucking idiot. That is a dude. Shut up. You sound like a fucking retard talking like that. Come on, guys. This is the biggest YouTuber on the planet saying incorrect things right there to appease, like, that weird crowd he fucking has fa a fan base of. Sorry. Ava is literally with... A Ava is literally always with her kid and doesn't even go on shoots to spend more time with him. Tuck man is always smiling. Not sure why this rumor is a thing. Um, yeah. I mean, spending time with your kid, kind of grooming them into, you know, wearing women's clothing. Yeah, I don't know about that, Mr. Beast. I think you need to shut the fuck up. So, obviously, you have a picture of them together at the uh, Kiss Choice Awards, I think, for 2022? actually. So you can tell that he brought his friend there because obviously they're really, really close, obviously. Okay. So that was that situation. That's most like part one of all that. Basically, long story short, long story short to recap that Chris comes out as Troon Decepticon, abandons his family to play dress up. Nick Merckx calls him out at the same time where Ava Chris Tyson is also calling out Dr. Disrespect. Okay. So then, you know, the lady Toasty we have on the show. So Toasty uh, basically told him, uh, you know, you're still a woman, cope harder. Like, like, like I told that Yu-Gi-Oh! Troon, Nicole, uh, Evie Davis or whatever his name is or whatever. And then this is what Chris Tyson actually DM'd, uh, someone that we know that's been on the show. Krill yourself. One look at your profile before block and geez, take up yoga on your local freeway. It was the actual Chris Tyson. That's Chris Tyson. That's him right there. The guy with 400. Oh, he lost 7,000 followers because of that. Good. Because situation, that's a good thing. Right there, deeming random women to kill themselves. Is that what the Troon Decepticon community is about? One of your previously one of your own DMing women like her to off themselves? thought you guys were inclusive and nice. Yeah, I don't really believe all that shit anymore. All right. So this is the one that Chaz wanted to talk about. So people were making all kinds of theories and talking about like basically this what chris basically did is going to be a big problem for mr beast because mr beast's brand obviously is attached to you know being very kid friendly and helping a lot of people out and all that stuff right so mr beast had this tweet and it says yeah this is getting absurd chris isn't my nightmare he's my fucking friend and things are fine all this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Talk about tweets that age like actual milk. Age like shit. This absolutely just straight up age like shit. Mr. Beast, it wasn't transphobia. People were telling you legitimate concerns about what this guy was doing as far as like, hey, this is pretty effing weird. This supposedly straight guy just does this and then he's putting his kid in high heels and playing dress up. Like, I don't know, man. Like, this I, I hope you would kind of like at, at least adhere to some concern like that. But he doesn't. He just makes a bone idiot tweet like this. So, uh, Anthony, you want to say about this tweet right here, man? I know you want to talk about, about this one. Yeah, because this one I look at, I saw this, I was like, I was like, Chris is, I was like, I, I, read, I was like, who the fuck is Chris? Because I don't watch Mr. Beast content. I'm not going to lie. The only time I watch Mr. Beast content is when, like, Low is like, oh, look, I just gave Mr. Beast out of $250,000. I was like, mm. okay, okay, Lowick. All right. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, I, is, I should also clarify, too. I I don't watch Mr. Beast content either. Um, I do respect that he gives back to the poor people. Yeah. Like, hell, helping out countries where, like, like, their governments couldn't give a fuck about them. That, I, I think, is a very good thing. Yeah. That doesn't automatically mean he's a good person because I, I know people like to confuse those things. Just because he does that does not mean he himself is doing that for either a good reason or because he actually cares about those people. People pe That has always been something a lot of people say, where if I had a lot of money, then I'd do this. Well, then if you're that person that has a lot of money, you do that, that's going to give you a lot of, like, you know, goodwill with a lot of people, you know? He's able exactly. to do that. But then people have also said, well, if you are just that good of a person, why don't you just do that without a YouTube channel? You can just do that off camera. Yes. And to be fair, I agree with that sentiment too. But, you know, I think the cause of helping out those people kind of outweighs being on camera. I, I, I'd rather them get the help, honestly, yeah. if I had to choose one, you know? But yeah, man, it, it's so crazy seeing someone this big with this much influence not even possibly un un understanding what's really going on, you know? Mr. Beast, oh God. All right, so then you have the next one, actually, which is, this is the first 
drama alert post that hit when everyone saw the accusations. It says right here, Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast is being accused of talking to minors. Two videos over the last 30 days outline an alleged sexually inappropriate relationship with a minor that started with the minor at age 13 with plans to meet up with same minor at 16. Chris Tyson, who now goes by Ava, has yet to respond to these allegations. So when this all dropped, eh, like there is videos right here that they dropped. And right here, the, which is fucking gross. Okay, so people want to say like that. What is that right here? Because it also says Chris. That account that Chris had is suspended. You can't actually access it. I mean, there's probably a way to, but looking at that guy's history, I am definitely not going on that road. This is Lava, who you, who you guys will see in just a moment here. Lava, who, uh, so this came in 2018. Lava's now 20, okay? So this is 2024. He just now is 20. Okay, so if you minus, like, what's, what, what, what's like, six years off? He was 14. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Right oh, here. God. I posted some fire nudes for you. He's saying that to someone who is, what you, what you said, 14, 16, whatever? Uh, speed between 13 and 14, depending on when, how. Okay. Yeah, Cause if, obviously. Yeah, because if he's 20, if he's 20, he's either he's 19 20 or 20. Now. This year 20. became 20. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, no, the year he turned 20 or the turning 20? He already turned 20 earlier than this year, actually. Okay, that's me. He's more likely in this, he was about 14. At this point, because May 19th and July 30th yeah. is not too far apart. And, mm -hmm. yeah, no, nah, it's still disgusting. Um, that is it was like, it's gross. Because at this time, Chris, I, I don't know how old Chris is at this point. It's like, too fucking not, old. But, yeah, he'd be he, 26. He'd be 26 at this moment in time, actually. Yeah. He's, he's like 29 now, I think, or whatever. I don't really no, know. No, he's 30. He's 32. Uh, You're right. You're right. Because mm -hmm. he's, yeah, him, he's. Right, because he's 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 not much younger. No, sorry, no, sir, no, sorry. He okay. No, he was twenty two. Sorry, he was born in ninety six. Not yes, uh, he's born in ninety six. So yeah, he right. You're right. Yeah, that's the same was, year my bro was, brother was born. So he'd be yeah, twenty eight. Yeah, he was twenty two. Uh, no, he was. Yeah, he's 20, twenty eight currently. Six years, he'd be twenty two. So a twenty two year old man. Twenty one, because 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 yeah, he, yeah. he turned. Yeah, either way, you're you're twenty one, twenty two years old, messaging a fourteen year old. Reply to them on Twitter with that. That's not fake, guys. You go to that account. It says account suspended. If that was fake, you couldn't be able to look the account up. But I'm just saying. Yeah. I literally did it. I promise you, I did it before the for this video. I checked the account. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go and catch some fucking fire screenshots. Nope, he counts suspended. He, he, I, you can't check it, honestly. All right, so uh, the next one we have here, uh, let's see, is, you know, you had, you had that initial big video that popped off, obviously, uh, and then we had Jake the Viking. He had spoken out about it. He had said uh, he want to talk all that shit, but now look. Yeah, because he's not saying that the quartering – He's saying that about when Chris Tyson was talking about Mr. Uh, Dr. Disrespect, obviously. Yeah. The, the nerve of this guy to say shit about that situation, but then this happens to him. I love it. Yeah. Oh, what, what was that one uh, weird pedo black guy? E e EDP, EDP 445. 445, yeah. You know? He was talking about it, too. Yeah, he was talking about it, too. He's like, he was like, oh, I, I know he ain't talking. That fucking weirdo. So then yeah, here's another he tweet from Mr. Chris. Says, <laughs> Nothing gets my uh, wiener uh, cranky and like some lolly. Look up, lo just type the nope. definition of lolly. That is disgusting. Then, no, not, uh, don't, don't actually hit enter. Do like a basic Google search. Once you read what it's about, that is the most disgusting thing ever. I'm not, that is gross. Okay, That's I'm actually not nasty. Type, there's no way out. There's, I, I know what it is because... If, if you ever do, don't do it on your computer, do it on your phone, but just do not type that Do it on your friend's computer. Do it, your, do it on your friend's phone. Don't do it on your phone. You, mean, you don't want that information. Good. No, you, no, no. Matter of fact, you know what you do? Just um, go look up a Miss Kiff clip and then him and Lakari. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. 
Okay, so that was the first initial reaction to all the situation that broke out with Drama Alert. Then we have the next one, okay? So Chris Tyven, uh, Chris Tyven, sorry, I misspoke. Chris Tyson, Chris Tyson, okay, like Chris Handsome, you know, good old Chris, might as well be Chris Handsome, holy shit. Yeah, so, he, he gonna, Chris he, Tyson, he gonna deal, he'll be giving him some booty. Oh my God, you know, oh my, booty. he might Woo. love that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's, yeah. Oh, no, Chris Handsome, oh. Chris Ugly. Chris Ugly, love it. God. Chris Cupcake, Chris Cream Pot. Yeah, how, 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 how booty wear it? I'm about to ruin that butt. <laughs> oh, oof, oof. So, uh, Keemstar tweeted Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast Elite tweets. This is actually wrong. I know when when he deleted this because I, I checked his account when it happened. That the day of the Doctor Disrespect situation, he deleted all of his tweets shortly after people called him out about the Snapchat thing I told you about earlier. Yeah. Once people called him out about grooming his son, he deleted all of his tweets. Because it, 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 even later on, Keemstar said, "Oh, he deleted them earlier." Yes, he deleted them literally a day after that Snapchat post. Before the Doctor Disrespect uh, tweet, uh, tweet, tweet, tweet came out, actually, yeah. so he had already tried to cover up all his tracks. I was like, "Wait a minute, why this guy delete all his posts? Like, that's pretty, like, pretty concerning, you know?" So then, this was another one of them on his older account that is banned. I'm not repeating that. That's gonna be out of context. I'm not repeating this. Oh, yeah. oh, ooh, ooh. I, I, oh, that no, is. Uh. I'm just letting you guys. I'll pause for a second so you guys can look at the screen, get screenshot of yourself. That, I, I am that not loud, saying that out loud oh, no. because I'm not trying to go to jail, and I'm not like that. I am not a weirdo. I know? see it, man. I, man, that that bear, that bear already got me on one list. One list about 9/11. This <laughs> is the worst list to be on. Uh, 9/11 <laughs> conspiracy serialist. That's just okay. We know you think we know you might know more information than you get on it. That's a list you don't want to be on. Oh, oh, that's so that. Then, uh, after that, this is that is borderline. Just disgusting. no, 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 no. That's not borderline. That is disg- no. That's not borderline. That just borderline what? is like R. Kelly saying, "Oh, you look." Is Chris you, Tyson not R. Kelly? Like, bro, this is worse than R. Kelly. R. R. Kelly, R. R. at least R. Kelly was just messing, a weirdo. R. Kelly was messing with women out of you, you say shit like that. Oh no, you. You get Falcon Punch to oblivion. Like, you get Falcon <laughs> then, Punch to the moon. This other guy, this other guy, he was like, to be fair, there is no to, there is no to be fair. This is disgusting if you read that. There is no fairness in that at all. If one of my, if any close person ever said that to me, you would never be talking to me at all. I might actually do what he just said right now. A to your pink face. guy. So what the fuck is pink guy? Okay. So uh, he says, to be fair, that's from a Pink Guy song. But yeah, saying it without no context is obvious. It's absolutely no, no, no. Saying this without saying this in general, even with context or without, is dis- disgusting. No matter what it is, that's actually yeah, yeah. even worse that he said it. There's no way that guy tweeted that. And this guy's right here. That this rebuttal is the same thing as this. He did not tweet this from that. He's not. I no way. Absolutely not. People gotta stop doing that shit. Stop kind of sweet for everybody. He did not tweet that disgusting shit from lyrics he heard in a song. Especially what we know now. He didn't do that. God, my yeah. God, get a fucking broom, start sweeping the corners, man. And while while you're at it, vacuum the floor. But while you're at it, man, spit shine that shit too. What, why would people do this? There is no to be fair. That's just you tweet that. We not talking anymore. That's just disgusting, actually. Is that enough when they tackle go after James Gunn for his tweet? Yeah, and he didn't actually do anything with kids at all. He just said some really weird shit that he got canceled for. Kind of yeah. rightfully so, you know. But he didn't actually touch anybody. He didn't actually take well, any, a, any people. He just he had actually... a very dark sense of humor. This yeah. one, after the channel, it was like... Bro, that's really weird. So next one. So Lava had a tweet that basically try to call these two videos that first called Chris Tyson out, debunking them. But don't worry, I have other videos to show that he's, he obviously got paid off, even though he said he didn't. He says, these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Now, keep in mind, this is the same lava that I showed you guys from this tweet right there. That's the same lava. That's the same lava right right there. Lava GS. And yes, that's Lava GS right, right there. Okay? So make sure it's the same person. Ava I'm never did anything wrong. Of course you would say that. Of course you'd say that, you fucking dumb idiot. Mother- but you were groomed, not- so I don't blame you. I'm not going to lie. This motherfucker needs to be thrown, thrown in some lava. God. Shit. Just in the volcano. Just. Mm. 
Just Just having the all your skin. Yeah. You know, handcuff him, how um, get him close enough to the volcano, just push him over. Yeah, that <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah, Ava like, never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. All right, so let's put this in context. Doctor disrespect. I am not saying what happened with him is wrong. Okay, what happened to him is right. He should be canceled, obviously, for what he said. Okay, because he was sending inappropriate messages that he said lean inappropriate to someone that might be a minor. When people said, "Oh, but she's 17. Fun fact that that's never been confirmed. People just made that number up. You still can look. That is a made up number. Purely, we don't even know if his if his if his alleged victim was seventeen or that's sixteen. The, Could be younger, that's, honestly. That's keep still mind, a minor. That's one, and keep yeah. And keep in mind, Doctor Disrespect was canceled just for saying the the line when he he we people accused him and he was wrong. I'm not saying he's not wrong. He is wrong, and I said he's a piece of shit too for doing that. If he got canceled for edgy jokes. Then he's instantly canceled for that. Actually, this is even worse because people have said that for Dr. Respect, that girl potentially might be 17. Ava, you got fine. Almost, almost said too. Chris is saying this stuff about four year old children. That's way worse in under like every more context that is. Both situations are bad, obviously. But if we're going to get rid of one person for saying shit like that, then this is happening for him too. A few you edgy know. jokes. Dude, do you know you were 13 when he did these things? Dude. When you were about six, about almost 15 or 14, he said he was going to send you nudes. Okay? Like, isn't that what people cancel Dr. Disrespect over? Yeah. Nope. That's unbelievably disgusting, actually. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Brother, you were a fucking 14-year-old kid. You didn't know anything. You still probably don't know anything now. Shut up. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? This is... And right here, people have people have called him out saying, You got paid off, bro. This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't even possibly have an inkling of that, honestly. Exactly. Okay. So he had said, I am not a victim and I am not backpedaling any statements, which we can retract later on. I got you in a lie. I already have that tweet up that you posted yourself. Everything I've stated is still very true. Keep in mind, everything I've stated is still very true. Nothing bad happened between me and Chris, and people are creating lies around my name. Yesterday, while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible, I made a mistake and included two videos in a tweet that had nothing to do with my situation. Here are the correct videos, and the and these ones should be taken down. Okay, so... This guy's all obviously a paid fucking shill. He doesn't know he's groomed. It, it, all that means nothing when I show you what he said later on. Literally, I, I can easily show you what all that's what all is right here is a load of bullshit. Okay. Can you guys help me counter the, all these lies? Chris's messages to me were sent in public Discord servers slash groups. That's actually probably even worse. Because it was around other people too. You complete dumb fuck. Hmm. This is the reason why people say kids these days are absolute idiots. People like this yep. grew up without a brain to not even understand basic logic of stuff. That is even worse that it just wasn't with you, that it might have been with other people. And we know for a fact it was with other people because we've seen the receipts from the Discord, actually. But everyone was, but everyone is framing it as if it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Chris literally did nothing wrong. Keep in mind, I'm going to destroy this guy later on with his own tweet. He said Chris literally did nothing wrong. We'll come back to this guy in a little bit, okay? So then we had John Mueller putting out another one. Overnight... More allegations on Chris Tyson having posted to social media. Alleged 2019 Snapchat messages between Chris Tyson and a 14-year-old at the time were posted to X, but were taken down. However, later were republished by other users. Former Mr. Beast member Jake the Viking quote tweeted a repost implying they are real by saying there's more. One repost has since gained 2 million views. Do you believe these messages are real? Okay, so I got the, I'm not going to play, play, play the video obviously for YouTube purposes, but Chris Tyson, for sure, there's only one Chris Tyson. Well, I imagine there's more of them, but you know, for those there's video, more Chris Tyson. There's Chris yeah. Tyson's right, right there. Don't that like Chris Tyson? Someone dressing like a, like a girl makes perfect sense. Obviously, you know, look at there messaging a 14 year old girl. Look at that. Why would he messaging a 14 year old girl? I'm pretty sure that's Chris. Isn't that good old Chris? Look at that. That's Chris. 
I don't know who that is, but I know I'm I'm sure that that's Chris. I remember I, I I made a joke like after all of this, everybody's going to hate Chris. Shut up. <laughs> I no, I mean no, I but seriously, every, everybody should hate Chris after this. And if you don't, yeah, you're getting oh, no, investigated. Nope. Someone said this should be Mr. Beast's next. No, do that. His whole channel would need to be burned to the ground, honestly. Just delete. So, uh, so this was uh someone by the name of Jake uh Franklin, who was a member of Mr. Beast's crew, and he had claimed that uh Mr. Beast knew, knew the whole time. So after this tweet, people started speculating, did Mr. Beast know? Now keep in mind, let's just say hypothetically he didn't know, which I highly doubt. But for arguments, like let's say he did, okay? It doesn't matter, yeah. he knows now. All that, it, that doesn't mean anything anymore. He knows now. I believe he knew before because we'll go over that later. But that, but Jake uh, Franklin had put out that Jimmy knew. And Jimmy is Mr. Beast, obviously. I don't usually refer to YouTubers yeah. by their first name, but whatever. It doesn't matter in this specific situation. Yeah. So now comes the streamer portion of it, okay? So the streamer portion, I'll talk about next. So we have part two. A lot of recap part two for just a second if you guys don't understand. Chris DMing uh, Toasty to krill herself. Mr. Beast saying that Chris is in his nightmare. Then you have Chris saying to Lava, he's going to send him nudes. Keep in mind, Lava will be around 15 at this time. This man talking about four-year-olds. Lava playing cover-up, okay? And then you have more allegations of this guy talking to 14-year-olds. Then we have the final guy, he's a member of his crew, taking pictures together, saying that Mr. Beast knew. Next one. Now here comes the streamer portion. So, Mr. Beast, a while ago, organized this big situation and collaboration with all these big popular streamers, Pokimane, Valkyrie, all these people, right? Tyson, yeah. yeah. It was crazy. These people got to understand. Um, fun fact, the biggest popular streamers in the world are black. But fun fact. But, you know, nevertheless. And so, they kind of stand out in this picture because they the dark. They Like, Kai stands out. Look, look, look at all the sea light. And then he got the red hat with the black. Like, dude, like, one of them does not fit. Is that nigga right in the middle? It's fucked up. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, of course, look he's, about it. He's, the, he's got the most cloud. That plus, if he turned the light on, it, it'd be hard. Oh to my. Him. Okay. All right. I'm just so, saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, look how they had to surround them around people that are lighter. Just saying. And then they got the other black guy in the corner. So around this period in time, like I just said, Mr. Beast organized this huge collaboration with the biggest streamers in the world. Okay. So then a lot of people kept saying, well, if these guys were really hard on Dr. Disrespect, and I don't know, I, I don't disagree with them on their assessments of him. I, I don't. Well, logically, shouldn't they be going this hard on Chris? Now, I, I know you guys don't like some of these people, but I will be, I, I'm fair to everybody. Pokimane and Valkyrie and Kai Sinet did not actually say anything about Dr. Disrespect until he actually made his tweets. I'm sorry. I know you might not like them, but that is what happened. Okay. Now, did they go as hard on him like they did with Dr. Speck? They obviously didn't. Now, keep in mind, if Mr. Beast didn't know, why did he obviously... Don't you guys find it super... Uh, maybe I'll be a conspiracy theorist. Don't you guys find it weird that he organized this big streamer collaboration and then basically about a week-ish later, all this came out for his friend? Almost as if like he was trying to basically get these people under his thumb... To basically oh, yeah. go like, you talk about my best friend, you ain't gonna be on the biggest YouTube channel anymore. I, yeah. I'm not saying he did this malicious, I'm not saying he did that, I'm just theorizing in my head, you know? Because remember, if because Mr. Beast kind of swings into that, people would say woke left or whatever. Keep in mind, if they say anything about trans people, they lose all their sponsors, Twitch subs, everything. Don't you guys find it weird? They're only on X, Rumble, and various other places. You can only talk about there being like two forms of Autobots. <laughs> Yeah. Just pointing it out there. Now, it could be a harmless collaboration, but I think you guys need to start thinking past one plus one equals two. A lot of people can only think that. Think it's a little never, bit harder. It's never harmless. All this is pre-planned. That's me. You know. Pre-planned to get them right under his thumb. Because they know they can't speak out if they took his money, be a part of his collaboration, how much like reach they'll give you being a part of Mr. Yeah. B's video. Also, yeah, clout. It's like a lot of these people, like, and he's so like you remember the time like Lower took away two hundred fifty thousand dollars and then it was like, Oh yeah, you know, you can keep it. It's like think, think about it. Also, some of these people have been in videos before, like Kai Sinet, like uh, like Kai Sinet 
like blew up because of like partially Mr. Beast and other stuff and his own his own you know success, but also Mr. Beast come. Think about it. Kai said that was just just did the um the house you know the fireworks thing with Mr. Beast. That's me. He had that connection. Low has been under Mr. Beast's wing for like the last three years. Some of these other people they have connections. It's like Carl Jacobs. Yep. It's like a lot of, of course like, Pokemane's gonna be under Mr. Beast's thumb. She was invited to the uh, Nickelodeon Kiss Choice Awards a few times. Yeah. Valkyrie's obviously been invited. Like all these guys have immense ties to each other. And it it's not a coincidence to me that he brings them all together for a reason to basically be like his personal, like, you know, sweepers. Hey, I, I know Chris is the bad guy, but hey. This ain't a problem for all trans people. It's like, shut up, Pokemane. It's, all right. it's, pretty much, it's pretty much, all right, cool. Uh, you know, like cool an in, in, in inbuilt, like, um, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a battle tactic. It's like an inbuilt um, protection shield already there yeah. for you, right there. So, you know, I don't really care for this guy all too much. I really don't watch it. Mostly big streamers, guys. I'll be honest. I don't watch it. Really I, if, oh, if, I'm, if I'm bored and, like, if I need something, I like my second monitor while I'm playing League or I'm editing something, yeah. But honestly, I don't really watch Mr. Um I don't really watch XQC like that where I'm like I will oh. I don't care to I don't care for this guy too much, but he did put out a tweet, you know, and you know, what's that saying? Bro, broken cock oozes out j- broken clock right once a day. He put up yeah. this, and I, I I will say after he said this, then you got the Pokemans and the Valkyries of the world to say something. After that, you got them to say something. He says, yeah. I mostly follow I follow mostly only influential creators here, yet most have been silent about Chris Tyson. Pretty deviant behavior across the board. Weirdo. Can't wait to read some of the cope justifications on why it wasn't addressed. By the way, next time I'm adding the whole squad. Stop hiding behind the noise. Yep, I fully agree. I, I don't care for I don't care for this guy too much, but like I fully agree. You know? Oh, and also with XQC, he kind of fell out with some of these people. Um, uh, I forgot. It, it, was, it was some small thing. I wonder why he, Pokemane wouldn't talk about Mr. Beast. Gee, I wonder Bella, why. Bella Thorne, he got their bow test. XQC fell out with, I think it was Ludwig and then NMP, um, um, oh, was it OTK or the OTV? Yeah, the OTK. Mm-hmm. They felt like a lot of these people fell out with each other. It was one of those, like, you know, a lot of them fell out with each other. And that's the, like, crazy part that people oh, don't realize. I want to point out, uh, King M. Lee put put up this or around the same time after XQC put this out, and he said, our girl, I'm pretty sure a guy, didn't want to misgender Where are all the big creators who instantly disavowed Dr. Disrespect for inappropriate actions? Why aren't they calling out the PDF philia from Chris Tyson? Keep the same energy with Chris Tyson as you did with Dr. Disrespect. I look forward to your statements denouncing Chris. So then after these two tweets, literally, I promise you guys, after Kangman's uh, and and XQC's tweet, and XQC has obviously, look how much followers this guy fucking has. This guy's got huge reach. Yeah. Pokimane then makes her tweets. Keep in mind what the timestamp is, 9.30 in the morning. You best believe I was compiling all these tweets then to catch these motherfuckers in her. Keep my Pokimane, guys, I've watched her since she started. She's a, she's certainly one of the girls of all time. Let's just say that. I've just, just. She got ass tests, but she don't got much brains. Trust me, I, I know people like her. She's. So this yeah. is what she said. It, it's clear, you know, she didn't really say that much difference with the Dr. Disrespect situation, but you, we can clearly tell the energy behind the tweets are different. So here, here's what she said. I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable, is unacceptable regardless of who you are. Okay, like, that will be fine. But you guys know how dumb women are these days. Women just can't just, like, do something good and just, just leave it. They gotta just put their foot in their mouth. They just have to do it. Because this yeah. dumb broad goes in another tweet. She just left it. That's fine. This is completely fine. That, that That's okay. Like I, I know a lot of people didn't like that one. I thought it was okay. Like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Then you have this one. It's a shame that people will see this as, as an opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. One person's actions does not reflect on every single trans person. So please don't view it that way. God. Why? Why even tweet that? 
That's a uh, honey lady. Read the room. What's that thing the kids say nowadays? You lost the plot, lady. Yeah. Yes, some people were saying that, but not to, to to the degree that it would overweigh what Chris was doing. Are you what the fuck? And people want someone like that to vote. That's gonna be someone that's gonna be allowed to vote when they're saying dumb shit like that. Are you kidding yeah. me? This is right here is completely fine. Anything after this is just nonsense. And and yeah, I I mean, if you're asking me, I think being the way that Chris is kind of correlates into that. I do agree with that. But I, I wouldn't say that all trans people are like that. Even I'm not that dumb to say that, say something like that. But I, I wouldn't put it past some of something like that to lead into that. But then again, depends on who you're talking to, obviously. So then this person says, I don't know all the details. Why didn't you say the same thing for Dr. Disrespect? Yeah, and this is true. She did make her tweet after he said something. I will give her, I'll, I'll give her that, you know? But then this was her tweet with Dr. Disrespect when he made his tweet. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then just this. But I'll be honest with you guys, I, I wouldn't really look to her for like a bunch of like insightful things. She is uh she's just kind of coast by I'll be honest here, she's just kind of coast by on her looks. Some of her videos back in the day were fun. I mean, I I'm I I I'm, I I've unstuffed her from years ago, but some of her old content's fun. She's a complete I would say guys, woke weirdo. She's one of those just complete dumb fucks, obviously. She's just a hot girl who just gets a lot of guys to give her money. Yeah. I wouldn't look to her for any any clear level of insight when it comes to any situation possibly. Because a bunch of people were adding her and Valkyrie because, you know, they were very big on, like, the Dr. Disrespect situation. Valkyrie's first tweet was right here. I'm still in the process of moving because she was doing this, like, content house with some people. It, it, I, I don't know what happened to it. I haven't, I haven't watched any Valkyrie content in forever, honestly. So I don't know about that. You're not missing much. She did. Concepts, she did. Her streams are, are pretty boring. They're pretty just bad, if I'm being honest here. Yeah. So I haven't been able to fully keep. So I haven't been able to fully keep up. But in the meantime, since I've been tagged a bunch, PDFs equals bad. Decepticon equals P PDF. The actions of one troon person doesn't mean all. Sucks to see so many anti-Decepticon people <laughs> act as if it does. I'm hoping. Shut up. Oh, my God. This almost 40-year-old fucking woman calling a grown man by his different name. You stupid, dumb idiot. Dr. Oh, D, is still, Dr. D is still gross. No shit. No one said otherwise. Lastly, to the insult that only tagged Pokey. No, fuck off. They tagged you too. Shut the fuck up. And, and no, I no, initially, before this, they only tagged Pokey. It's after this, they started tagging her. And I, to speak up, even though everybody did after D did himself, you're weird. Focus your hate towards the pedos for once. Okay, there's one line that it was like, the actions of one person does not mean all. That is true. I agree, yeah. But then right after that, sucks to see so many people at as it does the we're issue talking about the is, same group of people that straight up dance naked in front of kids them in the cross the issue is there's 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 starting there's starting to be a pattern of a lot of these people with mental illness who are around kids and it's like it's one of those things where your first line makes sense but to the second one it's like Decepticon a and how you say it, you know, the, the, what is it, the tomatoes, because, you yes. know, the tomatoes equals. Oh my God, you had another one. I had another one ready. <laughs> I had another one I was using, yeah. Tomatoes yeah. The equals, doesn't always equal PDF file, mm -hmm. but the issue is there's more and more of them coming out to be. You know, I could understand why people correlate the two. Sorry, guys. That that tomato stuff is clear cut mental illness. I'm yeah. sorry, it just is. The whole that's kind of where was... I draw a lot. That's kind of where I draw my line at it. L g gay, lesbian, bi. That's kind of no pun intended. The whole bi, thing bi. is like, like okay, tomato stuff. Line is drawn at that. Absolutely, I do not stand for that. I'm okay. The whole thing was calling her, calling him by her. I don't find that an issue. My main thing is. At this point, it's one of those things where 
if this was done when he was still Chris, it's 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 one of those things where this is the situation where like this was done while he was still Chris and wasn't Ava socially. Like you, I I would have to say you have to call them by the person they were at the time of the incident and not what they are now. Uh, some, people that, have, some people have, have theorized that, that he Chris became a tomato because he knew that it, it would shield him from doing this. More like a preemptive that, thing, actually. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, would, I, I believe it. Someone as crazy as that guy would do anything to shield himself it's, from any, any level of criticism. And especially, uh, especially no offense, uh, Mm-hmm. Caucasian. I feel like Caucasians, they like black people can try to do this and they're still gonna get ready ridiculed. It's one of those things where Caucasians have a better chance, definitely ones who have high connections. And honestly, because here are uh, some, some, some of the replies right here. Like, usually for these, I don't go through some of these because they're kind of just like yeah. nonchalant. Like, this the back and forth usually becomes pretty, pretty, just insanely long and drawn out. Yeah, uh, Christian Argurello said to her, don't, doesn't even mention Chris at all. Stop defending a groomer. Chris is Ava. No, Valkyrie, Chris is Chris. Okay? And I want them, that's a, them to, to confess their crimes. Chris Why is Ava. Why not say Chris? Just say Chris, Chris. Chris is Ava, but when he committed his crimes, uh, Chris is Ava, and I want them to, no, it's, they can't, they're, 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 they're the same person, but they were not evil when the crimes are committed. Actually, you have to go by the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when, yeah. when, when Caitlyn Jenner got right, that so car. Like, next statement. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no, like I was saying, like when Caitlyn uh, Jenner got in that car, said so he wasn't he technically still Bruce in a transition right after fully transition yeah. allegedly. Think so. He technically yeah. was. He mm-hmm. was technically still Bruce then. Uh, in my opinion. So then we're going to go over Chris's, um, you know, actual apology later on right here. Valkyrie ended up quote tweeting his apology with this saying, I was hoping for a more detailed response, but glad Ava is overall stepping away from Mr. Beast's team. Disappointing and disgusting. The fact that you would even still call this person Ava is disgusting in itself. Like yeah. the person got... You person literally get out of it as a, a, a fucking PDF file where you got to call him. Oh my god, yes, but yes, she did say just dis- disappointing and disgusting, whatever. Just I guess you just take the good with the bad with these people, all right? So that was the uh, and then this part right here concludes the streamer influencer thing, and then we'll just cover the media portion of it, then we'll cover the final portion, okay? So Tysonette is now receiving more backlash for misgendering Chris Tyson. Than Chris Tyson is for inappropriate behavior with a minor. Yeah. So keep in mind, I went to this person's profile that uh, tried to go after, after Kaisenet. This person is a 17 year old, pronoun in bio, Palestinian flag, you know, usual dumb kid. Person said, and, and they're, I, I can't even go through their tweets. You know why? They're protected. He went on full protected mode after going after Kaisenet, one of the biggest personalities in the world. Yeah, yeah. Because that was your biggest problem, was that he misgendered someone who's not even that gender over being an actual PDF. Because this is looks- why kids, uh, this is why kids at your age now are fucking stupid. Who the hell raised you? Dumb fuck. Because he asked in the chat, was he a dude or a, a woman when this happened? Oh, he was still a guy. That's me. He, he, then he was a guy then. Even though you, you, could, you could transition but if you were a dude when you did this, then you're like you should be tried as a dude. You should be. It was, I remember he said that he made a lot of sense. That people was like, but he's not a dude anymore. But he was a dude when this thing happened. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. So right here, the person that said the the misgendering on purpose is so gross. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Who actually gives a fuck? Oh my god, he didn't call me by my make-believe name. Now time to have a meltdown. Shut up. Oh, people are so dumb. She's a PDF. No, he's a PDF. Attack 
that she's a PDF, not her. Identity, please. Yeah, I'm so glad you have your priorities straight in life where person got outed as a, as a kid diddler, R. Kelly, and this but, but please just, just don't do the misgendering thing. We're, just send the meteor, man. Just, just, oh my God. What's, what, what's that final thing in the Bible called the rapture? Yeah. Or it's called? God damn. Oh my God. Here, even if you look up this person right now, what's it? At D-I-A, sorry, at D-I-L-L-X-N. Okay, so let's go to that person's profile. What did it say? At D-I-L-L. Yeah. X X N N right there. Look, protected tweets went straight on protected tweets. Look at that. Look at that. He had a when 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 I initially checked this the first time around for this video, he had a Palestinian flag in his bio. He for sure took that shit out. Being from Sweden, <laughs> of course you would. Of course you fucking would. Scare a seventeen year old kid indoctrinated by these fucking weirdos to not condemn PDFs, kid diddlers, weirdos. I hope people told you this. To fuck off. Delete delete your account. No, actually delete your account. You're fucking stupid. You don't deserve the internet privileges. So then now we have the media portion of this. This is just in one tweet, but this encapsulates why the media is not good, if at all. I will give them credit for putting up good articles every one, one once in a while. You know, I'm not that kind of person. I will give credit where credit is due, obviously. Look at the Dr. Disrespect headline from Rolling Stone, and then look at the one for Chris Tyson. So it's just the headline, okay? Dr. Disrespect knowingly sent explicit messages to a minor, former Twitch employee says, okay? This is the one. next one for Chris. Ava Chris Tyson steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. There you go. That's why the media isn't shit. Or this specific media publication, Rolling Stone, isn't. Rolling Stone's not been anything useful for a very, very long time, obviously. So, there you go. That is the uh, clear-cut definition of why they protect I, I i don't know why they protect these tomato people so much i i really don't know what it is with them that the media finds so fascinating to just protect everything about them no matter what it is rolling stone are trash obviously so then here comes chris tyson's uh actual uh you know apology apology okay so he says i would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended people. Oh, oh, you have no idea. It was not my intent. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. That's what, of course you would say that. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Focus on your family now, okay. All right. The family that you abandoned to play dress up. And your mental health is probably shit because you're a tomato. I want to add, I've never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations at Lava has vocally supported that they are false, which I'll debunk in just a moment here, okay? Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts. Unacceptable? Bro, that's... Oh, Lord. Past actions and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond... Bad, edgy jokes. It's disgusting. It did not happen. Bad, edgy jokes where you talked about four-year-olds, four-year-old girls looking good. You're gross. You're fucking sick. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Yeah, this is more like a, hey, I'm sorry I got caught. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I stepped away. Okay, so all that is just complete, utter doo-doo dog shit. What do you think about his apology, man? It was trash. Um, it's one of those, like, you know, like you said it earlier, it's, I'm sorry I got caught. It's one of those, it's, it's what we do in, not marketing, but in, like, public, public relations, because public relations and marketing are, like, cousins. It's like okay, cool. Okay, how do we sell it? How how do we give an apology? But we don't. You don't want to get too emotional, but you don't want. Now you gotta worry about not becoming a meme. Like, <laughs> how do you do that? And then you just give an apology. You know, it's like I would like to apologize for any my past behavior, the comments if it had hurt or offended anyone. I like to a, apologize for being a PDF file. What a fucking disgusting. It was not my shit. 
It was not my intent. See, recent events, we immediately decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. See, right there, see, all this sounds good, but this right here, if you know the if, if you know about Chris Tyson, all this is going to get dissected. The first two lines, from everything from I would to like intent is trash because they're gonna they're like, all right, cool, but you I was not my intent, but no, it was your intent to get sudden from that person. You get probably didn't happen the way you saw it. Seeing recent events, we basically decided, okay, focus on my and then it was like, said, why did you, why did you become the person you were in the first place to to put yourself in a position? It's one of those things where it's, this is just word of badly. This whole thing was just bad. It's one of those, okay. I put out an apology, guys. Leave me alone, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like I put out an apology. What what more do I have to do? And it's that kind of thing where you look at it, you're like, yeah. I I wouldn't accept this if I was the person that got abused because I know this is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, I can look at it and be like, yeah, this is... Uh, this is why the Dr. Disrespect situation in his goes to show you how the media is so trash. If he's canceled over inappropriate, edgy jokes sending to minors, which we know is not a good thing, that's a bad thing, I want to make sure they're both bad, know. then he's done for too. I don't care if he's a tomato, a Decepticon, Mr. Beast's best butt fuck buddy, which you probably oh, were. But, yo. So then Mr. Beast, people said... I, hey, I was wrong. I thought he was never going to say anything, but it turns out he did. I, 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 I was wrong. You know, he did actually say something. Mr. Beast's apology, or whatever the fuck he said right here, is this. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of uh, Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. The facts are all posted for you, but whatever, do your thing. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate acts. Ava said he will, Chris said he willingly stepped down. Mr. Beast said he fired him. I like there's that distinction between distinction between the tweets. Oh, people can point that out. I want to make sure I point that out. Okay. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. This is like that shit that Reginald did a long time ago, where it was yeah. like, we're gonna investigate ourselves, but we found nothing. It, it, I, I should not even have to explain how stupid that sounds. You're gonna investigate yourself. To see if any wrongdoing happened. Just, just want to point out how dumb that sounds, okay? Just that yep. stupid, okay? Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness actual gracious. Yeah, and I agree with Gilbert Chris. As a first step, you should stop referring to him as a woman. Embrace reality. You're not helping anyone by promoting this cult of delusion which harms kids. Agreed. Yeah. Fully agreed. All right, so now people said the whole debunking lava. I'll do it right now. So right here, keep in mind what he, you remember what he said earlier? Now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna make sure he just puts his foot in his mouth. Based on the recent screenshots and messages, I would like to say a statement about the Discord. This was five or six years ago, and I thought I had a good memory of the situation, but I was wrong. Keep in mind what he said earlier. Chris literally did nothing wrong. Everyone was framing it as a one-on-one. I was gonna find how weird that is. Stockholm syndrome. Right there, first one, get them. He right there says, but I was wrong. This guy, that day, got paid off by Chris. Chris ran out of money, and he finally fucking folded. This guy literally said, told people, go and stop countering these lies. Help me counter all this bullshit. Saying Chris right here explicitly did nothing wrong. Okay? After reading the chat logs, this stuff was inappropriate and wrong. Game over. It's over. It's over. I don't need to read anything else after this. You're, 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 how would I say this? You got groomed. I do feel sorry for you about that. 
but you yourself are a piece of shit for covering for this. I spoke based on my memory of the situation, and I still do not remember these conversations. Of course you don't. You were fucking 14. I don't remember what I was doing when I was 13. I don't remember what I, fucking what I said to you when I was 14 at all anymore. You don't know how much time has passed since then? Yeah, about for me and all the two decades. Keep right there. But they definitely happened. <laughs> God. These conversations should not have happened with people at the age I was at the time. I strongly condemn them. I still believe I am not a grooming. Shut up. If you already cooked yourself, fuck off. I'm not even going to give you say anymore. You're a clown. Fuck off, bitch. All right. Chris Tyson Discord logs leaked. So right here, Keemstar had put it out. Number one, the thread here proves Lava has 100% lied about this Discord being just edgy jokes, which he confirmed himself, which just showed you guys. I debunked that right there for you. There was an NSFW section. Not only did Chris know kids were in the server, Chris knew the mods running his, her uh, server were children. Yes, the actual mods were 14-year-olds too. A what? The mods. Yeah, they had 14-year-old mods in a Discord server. This guy was just building up his own mini cult, actually. Yeah. All right. So then we had uh, th this guy. I can't because sometimes on, on StreamYard, I play the audio for you guys. Sometimes when I did trailer reactions on StreamYard, the audio didn't go through. Just go on Drama Alert. You you you, you can just type up this specific post and search up on the internet right there. Uh, the Chris Tyson situation got way worse. Minor and accusing Chris. Minor accusing Chris Tyson of being inappropriate, just dropped alleged receipts, okay? And people keep saying Mr. Beast knew and everything. And, and to wrap up this portion right here, a thread of all the weird things Chris Tyson allegedly said in the Discord with Minor. I'm not saying that out loud. I'll just put it up right here. And keep in mind, in this Discord where Drama Alert put out all the um, Discord messages, this guy, Chris was sending P PDF, uh, PDF files, actual, like, files of his large yeah. hot dog size to uh, yeah. people that were 14. Look look at this last one. You know how disgusting this Discord is? Look at that last one. Look at that last one from Safi. You know how disgusting that is? That is... That's, a, that's the joke people used to say back in the day. It's the, and, you know, I'm like... Oh, I was like, oh, God. We better than that. Okay. Six so there, there is one more that I probably should. Okay, so there is uh, there's one more that I probably should cover. So there's this one about this cartoon CP artist. That I, I I don't know too much about that situation specifically. Yeah. I, I I don't. But basically, it was revealed that allegedly Chris kind of endorsed somebody that was a a, a cartoon CP artist. Okay. I, like I said before, I can't speak on that one confidently at the other ones. I know about these other ones. That one I can't, but you guys can go free to look up to that yourself. Yeah. Okay, so then we have all this stuff happening. Uh, Chris Tyson's leaked NSF Discord channel logs are going to be released to the public, which they were, obviously. And then there's a video calling Mr. Beast a fraud and stuff like that, but that's a different video for another day, obviously. So yeah, all this going on, all of this going on, with Chris Tyson, disgusting, actual disgusting piece of shit. This guy was literally in Discord calling, showing 14-year-old kids his junk, saying 14-year-old kid girls look good. Just actually disgusting. That's just beyond gross. Yeah. But yes, everyone, uh, that is it for the uh, Chris Tyson Situate Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast situation explained. Uh, do you want to say anything, man, before we uh close out of the video? Actually, oh, God. first of all, it's I disgusting. Mean, it's, say. <laughs> Chris Tyson is disgusting. Mr. Beast, he literally ruined his whole career trying to defend this person. That's it, and that's the sad part. It's like you know, part of him was trying to do good. But it's one of those things where sometimes you have to know when to cut somebody off. If this person has did what they're, you know, being accused of, you sometimes you can't keep that person around. 
you sometimes it just have to be, you know what? Um, yeah, I know you're my friend and all, but I can't work with you anymore. And he chose to he he pretty much did the um what do you call it? The um he did the Joe Paterno thing. Instead of trying to get in front of it and you guys, you know, get rid of your friend because that's the rightful thing to do, you decide not to and it's gonna cost you. Other than that, this is disgusting. This shit is just holy shit this is disgusting. Holy God. It's uh, Oh my god, it's it's just so many it's just so wrong. And also, Mr. Beast. A lot of those people yeah. and you know what the sad part about it is a lot of those people saw, oh Mr. Beast wants to work with me. No. It it might it might no. it, it, it might be that. It might be that he does want to work with you. Yeah. It might be that he does want to work with you, but he's also I'm not gonna say he's grooming them, but he he was no, just kind of, He's making yeah, his he, own little minions because he knows the influence he has will definitely influence their connections and connections closer to them. Actually, yep. he's actually controlling them without actually controlling them. Actually, exactly. So here was the uh, the the cartoon uh, yeah, artist person. Actually, so here was this. So under Chris's initial apology, Keemstar had said, "You didn't apologize to me a month ago in private when I brought up your behavior supporting a cartoon CP artist that drew my eight year old daughter in a sexual way. What changed?" And did Chris reply to that? Nope. Nope. Chris sent this to, to, to Jalen too. He's, what, what it says, if anyone ever asked, just say you talked to me and I explained it was a shitty joke to get likes from reply from Shad. I didn't even know about all the stuff he did, but one of the first controversies I stopped interacting with a long time ago. <laughs> of course he said that. Here was the other one where, where Keemstar talked about... Um, Mr. Beast, he said, I've known Jimmy before he even had a million subs. I do believe he's a good person, and I hate to put pressure on him like this, but he has to say something. And he, he eventually did. You can't go around trying to save the world when you have someone so close to doing things this disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. needed to have said something. That That's, like, I didn't think he would because, you know, given how big this is. This was the uh, Snapchat thing I told you about er earlier. Yeah. Uh, this was that right, right there. So this is when uh, Chris had a Snapchat. Look right there. There you go. Yeah. He was trying to put his kid in high heels. He was trying to put his damn kills in high heels. And the angle of it too is just weird. That's like, why are you showing us mm -hmm. the kid in that pose? Pose just. That's just mm -hmm. uh, man. That, just want to make sure people knew that was real. I wasn't just making that up. He had it on Snap. Uh, he, he he was on Snapchat. And then he had posted that. Yes. There you go. Okay. And the, the last thing I'll say here is about the whole, like, Mr. B situation. So people understand, he can never admit that he knew this was actually going on. Because that is straight up brand suicide. If he knew that there was literally a tomato kid diddler, R. Kelly motherfucker, and his, was his best friend doing this, this whole brand's just ruined. Honestly, yeah, he can really never, never, never say he knew because people, people would know like, and they would think to themselves, "Wait a minute, if you knew all that, why didn't you do anything?" Exactly. That's the thing. He has to say he didn't know. Like people don't understand how how he would have to say that. So we would have to theorize: Did he know or did he not know? I think he knew, but I think he oh, found he out. You know, I think he found out in a way that basically shocked him, and he didn't know how to handle. This. Didn't know potentially yeah, he, have a situation. He, potentially. he tried to he tried to bury it and it got too big where he couldn't bury it anymore. Mm -hmm. In that situation. Yeah. So I just want to say to everyone, uh, thank you guys for uh you know checking out this video. I, I know it was a long time coming for this one. I told you it was gonna be an absolute banger. Chris Tyson is a piece of shit. Pa any parents out there, if you can Get your kids to stop watching Mr. Beast. I would say do that ASAP.
people, yeah. actually. And if your kids are like, hey, mommy, daddy, I'm part of a Discord. I'm not saying all of them are like that one, but make sure you nope. go in there and check yourself. Because yeah, this sounds there. like a lot of kids were not having a lot of parental supervision, and a lot of the parents just went basically, here's a tablet, fuck off. You know? I'm not yeah. gonna I'm, I'm not gonna I, I'll just get them out. Oh, shit. I definitely, I, I probably delete their Discord account. I don't, I, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody under 18 should be in Discord. I don't think people under the age of like 15 or 16 should be on the internet, but that's another thing for me. Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just my thing, feelings on the situation. Whether Mr. Beast, if he knew and he didn't do anything for a long time, well, you're a piece of shit. And to be fair, from the way his business is set up, he can never admit he knew. You know yeah. how influential he is, people. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that to like boost him up. He really is influential. And the fact that that guy potentially knew that this firm is doing this this fucked up shit, cultivating kids in a Discord and sending them nudes of himself for Chris Tyson was doing that is bad. It's horrible. You know, exactly. that's just a terrible fucking thing. You know. Chris says he stepped away. Mr. B said he fired him. Whatever. That's meaningless right there because it doesn't matter as he fired him. He's gone. That's good. This motherfucker's talking about focusing on your mental health. Shut the fuck up. Just You have no mental health. You're pretending to be a girl, you fucking weirdo. You absolutely disgusting Jeez. fucking weirdo. Mental health. Take that mental health and shove it right up your fucking ass. Wait, you might actually do that. Yeah, I'm about to say. He, he, yeah. Keep in mind, I also found this out. Chris Tyson had a secret Discord named Ava where he was showing off his ass pictures and thongs. I I looked and I was like, wow, yes, this is actually real. I burnt, I I literally just got acid from my eyes when I saw that shit. But, yeah, you know. To, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, uh, I, I, at that point, I'm, I'm gonna, nah, I, like, 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 at that point, I might you do a Spongebob meme. I'm about to moonwalk the fuck out of this. No, well, what I'm about to do is just dive face first <laughs> into the Hudson River. Fuck that. Dive Shit. straight into bloody infested shark water. Just no, Hudson River is even worse. I oh, dive I, I dive straight into that bitch. Just yep. Just eat myself. All right, everyone. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you want to go and subscribe to Mr. Blanks, I'll leave his channel link in the description box below. Go over there and give him uh, a sub actually or a follow on any of his social media platforms actually as for me if you guys are a new a uh, new viewer or returning viewer please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below also make sure to hit that notification bell that way you guys can get notified on whenever i upload a brand new video or go live i'm msk aka master swag king and i'm signing out guys see you guys later Do-